Uh, good morning, participants. Uh, welcome to this uh, today's online session on uh, for appendix two uh, aspirants. Today's topic is uh, an overview of the traffic accounts. To take this session, we have the faculty Sri K M Manjai Garu, uh, uh, so working as a senior FP in South Central Railway. Sir, welcome, sir. What to you for to commence the session, sir? Okay, thank you, Nasir. Sir, uh, uh, all are muted, sir. Can I admit or uh, can I admit uh, at the end of the session? Okay, admit them. Admit uh, right now, sir. Right. Ah. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, they are all appearing in this appendix to the exam, sir. The same okay. This is the uh, objective type. Hmm? Okay. Okay, I will try to consent on objective ones. Yeah. Uh, because most of the candidates normally they choose option subject to general expenditure. Uh -huh. So this uh, topic of course comes under GRP. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, broad based and uh, objective pattern, you please uh, uh, teach them. Sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, right. Sir, uh, admitted all of the participants. Sir. You can uh -huh. interact with them, sir. Okay. Good morning, all. I am Manjaya, senior AFA, working as uh, in uh, RE organization, Secondary Bay. So today's topic will be about the traffic accounts. So as uh, uh, senior instructor told, the exam will be, pattern will be on the objective type. I will try to concentrate on the objective type as well. Okay, now let us start the session. So in every organization, commercial organization, Indian Railways is a commercial organization, so departmentally run. So every commercial organization will have two main functions. One is the uh, earnings, the other one is the expenditure. So the expenditure is looked after by the uh, all uh, senior DPM services, that is divisions, workshops, and construction organization. Earnings is concentrated totally in traffic accounts office. The headquarters of which is mostly located uh, uh, in the zonal headquarter on some specified basis at one or two zonal primary seats elsewhere also. So the basically the traffic accounts is centralized, unlike other divisional or workshop and construction organizations. This you need to know. And this uh, traffic accounts totally works under the control of the uh, PFA will be heading the organization. Then followed by the FNCO traffic will be there, further divided into deputy traffic will be there, and senior AFA, and the AFA, uh, station inspection, coaching, and goods will be there. In addition to that, uh, administrative control of the uh, FA traffic will be the statistical organization also, one statistical officer will be there, traffic casting officer will be there, and also one chief catcher. So they also will be working under the administrative control of the FNCO traffic. So this is the organization uh, structure of the traffic accounts office. So most of you, uh, to the best of my knowledge, are working in the divisions or uh, uh, workshops or in the construction organization. This may be a bit new to you. The total the organization structure of the traffic accounts is different. You don't see in the divisions. So this can be seen and felt only in the headquarters office. So now every organization will have certain functions. So to the traffic accounts office will have uh, certain functions. So whatever I'm going to tell now, share also, will be totally, will, will revolve around these three functions. So let us see what are all the three functions of the traffic accounts office. So person to whom our service rendered paid correctly. As I told you, it is a commercial organization. We are rendering services in the form of coaching, goods, country and other coaching earnings. So these are all the various services we are rendering to the public and the trade and industry. So uh, this cannot be done freely. So basing on the various standards and all, we have fixed some basic strategies are there. So what are the services rendered? To that extent, the uh, charges to, to be collected by the respective departments. 
So, person to whom our service rendered paid correctly. So, who, to whom our medicine, whether it is a survey, a signing order, or a passenger, or any parcel carrier, anybody to whom our we are services rendered, render, rendering, we need to collect them correctly. This is fundamental. So, whatever the amount collected should be properly accounted in the initial records of the books and also classified properly. So, the whatever we are collected here under the second head, we are uh, bringing them into the account and uh, under classified heads, we are taking them into accounts. So, the third one is apportionment of the earnings. So, it is total, uh, first one and two are mostly the executive departments also in watch, that is the commercial department, which is rendering the services and offering the services and they are collecting the amount and sending to the traffic account service. So those two are shared by the, these functions shared by the traffic account service and also the executive department, that is the chief commercial PCC, that is the commercial manager also. So third one is apportionment of earnings. This is the purely the function of the traffic account service. Whatever the earnings collected, or goods or passenger or parcels, need to be apportioned to the respective railways as uh, traffic originated from one railway is not ending in the same railway. So these are the, uh, they are uh, uh, running through the, uh, they are discussing the various railways. So the apportioned earnings by original, originating railway to be apportioned, to be given to the respective railways, whoever is carrying the traffic. For example, traffic originated from second railway to New Bogaiga. So this crisscrosses in between South Central Railway, East Coast Railway, then uh, 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 Eastern Railway, Southeastern Railway, Eastern Railway, Northeastern Front Railway. So in all these entire uh, railways also, in between also, increasing the expenditure for transportation of the goods and things and the passenger. So the earnings, now 100% fee payment is compulsory. You always keep in mind. In railways, there is no concept of two pay at all. Either a parcel front, passenger front or the goods front. So 100% earnings are collected by the originating railway and this needs to be proportionately basing on some concordant tables to be apportioned amongst the respective railways. It is purely the function of the accounting function of the traffic account sort. So hope uh, it is all clear. This is all you will have to keep in mind. This may be a short question also what are the various functions of the traffic accounts. So out of these three beyond one more function also maybe uh, uh, will be there. You need to have a clear idea of what are the functions of the traffic account service. So the various earnings we are collecting at the booking offices, reservation offices, wood sheds. So the, all these earnings are originated at the seven, uh, nearly 7,000 railway stations are there across Indian railways. All these earnings we are getting from these stations. So sometimes there may be a, a, a problem in accounting, goods balance and coaching balance, and vice versa also. So the, all these earnings, whatever are collected, need to be properly accounted under the prescribed heads. This is most important as ultimately the earnings, whatever is reflected, will be taken into, will be taken into account. And also to have the clear statistical data and the costing data, we need to have the uh, earnings to be properly allocated to the prescribed heads. So this is being done in the traffic accounts office. So let us see what are all the major heads in here. After it takes earnings from coaching and other coaching traffic, I will tell you what is coaching, what is other coaching traffic. It appears to be the same coaching and other coaching, but there is a lot of difference. And also, abstract Y, earnings from food shopping is there, that's that was product 92. And also, abstract Z, that is sundry and other earnings. So, here most of the questions regarding traffic will be like in classifying the expedi uh, earnings under the coaching, other coaching, earnings from the uh, goods and sundry earnings. So, a lot of uh, object type questions will be there. So, to classify them to which end this pertains. Now, uh, before going to the full subject, we need to know what are all the differences between the coaching traffic and other coaching and sundry earning. 
they appear to be the same for the outsiders but there is difference between the coaching our coaching and sundry athletes coaching traffic deals with passenger pair only for example uh, a person booked a passenger ticket from chikandarbad to new delhi so this will have not only the basic fare this will have in addition this this will have the reservation uh, charges this will have the safety charges this will have some um, uh, additional charges of call charge or whatever it is so so many charges are uh, attached to the base fare so here under the passenger and the only passenger base fare is taken into consideration this always you keep in mind only base fare is taken as the passenger earning or the coaching earnings so all earnings attached to the passenger traffic that is the cancellation of the tickets the parcel traffic the platform tickets the tt earnings the parcel earnings whatever are there luggage so all these charges attached to the passenger traffic whatever are there are brought on and the other coaching earnings tomorrow they will ask you the short question what comes on the uh, uh, they will give some for example you know and they will ask you the water comes on the other coaching and what comes on the salary so the other coaching directly connected with the passenger traffic and uh, broad classified under the other coaching traffic whereas unlike other coaching traffic three earnings are there it is totally different this is no way connected with the direct running of the traffic for example uh, parking contracts are there license fee are there retiring room advertisement char uh, charges are there so venue charges are there so these are all the deposit rolls so these are all the various charges they are not directly connected with the running of the trains or the con connected with the passenger fare so that is the difference between the sundry earnings and other coaching earnings so you need to have the clear idea what are the what is the passenger fare what is the other coaching traffic and also what are the sundry earnings the question definitely will be asked what comes under the sundry earnings they may include luggage earnings they may include platform tickets they may include super power such as also so you need to know have a clear cut idea go through the slide once twice no doubt the if any uh, doubt is there no doubt and ask me at the end so these two are putting together are called the now non fair revenue there is separate direct rate is there that is looking at the non fair revenue in the drivers merely this non fair revenue is coming to 7 to 8% only so not more than that whereas in advanced countries like japan and all it is there it is about probably 30 35% also so now board wanted to increase the non fair revenue that is a coaching and sundry earnings so they they have set up a separate department that is uh, looking after the how to increase the uh, other coaching and the sundry earnings so this is these are all the basically the, the items that comes under the coaching other coaching and sundry earnings so let us see uh, coaching earnings unreserved ticketing are there that is a uh, printed car tickets pcts UTC, UTS is unreserved ticketing service, uh, service, service. So you will have the uh, uh, general ticket booking is done under this. So 100% now computerization is there. Very small stations and hard stations, very few stations. The printed ticket, card tickets are issued. Uh, mostly it is all the computerized tickets uh, generated and printed through the UTS. That is return tickets. outward return all the sub sub tickets are being issued through the uts system so then we have got the passenger earning passenger reservation system is there anyway to anywhere a ticket can be booked and uh, this comes under the passenger earning these the two are the main earnings of the coaching earnings so other coaching earnings as i told you already previously also parcel is there luggage is there hours carries and uh, uh, dog earnings are there uh tt earnings is there special trains are there we run special trains now and then for the political rallies or the farmers or the other some specific parties and they request we will run the special trains and also military specials are there then rmc railway meeting complements are there that is also the traffic is booked through the government board so where do these earnings originate so these are all the earnings originate the all the earnings are generated at the booking office reservation office 
ट्रांसपोर्ट दिल So from one station to another station, get the request. Who will provide the uh, coaches to them? So the who uh, they utilize them? The full coach is utilized for transportation of the postal material, towers, or whatever it is. So the for that they need to pay the alley charges. So the, this is not directly coming out of the station for you. This is being done at the COM office. It, uh, it is being built. And sent to the traffic council directly. It is not being reflected on the station balance sheet. So try to know the AOB means account balance balance sheet. TOB means traffic accounts. In the henceforth, you may be getting these forms. So whatever the earnings that accrued at the station are being transported to the traffic account service through the mechanism of the cashiers. Of the various banks, it is being remitted, and whatever the receipts uh, are received in the traffic accounts are being audited. That is, that will be called as the internal check. So, the internal check of coaching balance sheet is there, PRS, UTS. So, what are the earnings? What are brought on? The which was accounted in the initial returns are being brought into the uh, are sent to the traffic accounts office. Various returns. Are sent along with the balance sheet to the traffic account service because we don't have a concurrent check at the stations. For example, in CNDD FM office, in workshop office, we do concurrently. So here the stations we don't have any other representative. We are barely the auditing once in a year, six months or four months with except PIS. We don't have regular attached associated finance at every six thousand or seven thousand odd stations. This you need to keep in mind. That's why. Whatever the amount collected are being recorded in the initial records, and the returns are prepared out of them. They are being sent to the traffic accounts office for further auditing, where the internal check is conducted as per the extant balance and provisions and uh, quarterly provisions. So, if any irregularities are there, they will be brought to the respective stations or the commercial department through the annual sheets. So, these are all the various sections are there. They will be conducting the internal check and uh, that. Result of the internal check is being conveyed to them. So we have got the uh, coaching balance sheet section is there. So too we will have the goods balance sheet, PRS, UTS, EFT, special trains, parcels, luggage. So uh, so on so forth. Uh, coaching bills, station inspection, station outstanding section. So these are all the sections which conduct the internal check. So too we have got the goods earnings are there. Again here. We have got the freight charges exactly under the class five. Every commodity is assigned with a class per which, depending on the mileage, rate is fixed. The rate is collected. So this is being directly accounted as the freight charges. So whatever the ancillary activities done by the railway for the movement of the freight goods traffic, we uh, render services under the required charges. Attached to the freight traffic are collected and brought under the and accounted under the miscellaneous goods earnings. So these are all the uh, not part of the freight charges. You always keep in mind that these are the not the part of the freight charges. So these are all the additional charges attached and the for which services rendered. We are collecting the charges at the prescribed rates. Fixed by the board from time to time. So we have got the average charges. The maximum what is average charge? Average means for uh, every 
uh, rig that is a wagon to deal with a uh, customer who will not give the free time abundantly, who will give the required free time to the five hours, nine hours, twelve hours, whatever it is there, depending on the uh, type of the wagon. Within the stipulated time, the party has to load or unload the material from the wagons. If they don't do it within the free time, who will collect the Average charges, wagon charges, basing on the fixed rates, basing on the fixed rates for the demerits. So, for detention of the rolling stock, we have the free time who will collect the demerit charges. We clear a differentiation, we please have it. Then, who are, who are, we have got the stabling charges. So, stabling charges we collect usually a sort of demerit charges, but the demerit charges are collected. For details of the railway wood stock. Stabling charges are collected for detailing the other private operators like Tentai the Corporation, other private wood siding owners who are having their own profit, own wagons. For them, we call it there the stabling charges. And we got the we have got the warfare charges. So warfare charges are collected. Suppose a material is unloaded from the wagon and the wagons are dispatched. At the same time, we need to remove the material from the railway platform within the free time allotted for which a separate free time is allotted. Within that free time, the material to be removed from the railway premises. Otherwise, warfare charges will be removed. Because why we levy warfare charges? It's simple. If we don't remove these packages from the platform, we cannot load another way or we cannot unload another way. So this becomes clumsy and the traffic will be affected. So we charge the what we charge us, it's a sort of penalty for not removing the uh, unloaded material within the free time. So to have got the stacking charges, this is for the loading. So for to rake a load, we get the material from the different places and we stack it in the railway premises for which we collect the stacking charges. So to we will have the siding charges, siding charges are also collected. Uh, uh, for placing the wagons inside the siding. So wherever road distance is not there, siding charges are collected from the siding holders and accounted accordingly. So we will have the three charges. This is uh, for uh, utilizing the railway engine for placing the rails inside the siding. Wherever there is no uh, uh, road distance here also. So for utilizing the railway engine on our basis, our basis, these charges are collected. These are next stunting charges. So these are all the charges collected. So these are the charges collected, stunting charges for the uh, remodeling of the wagons inside the part, uh, parties uh, siding at the railway station. And also we have got the haulage charges. This is the haulage charges collected. Whenever you need a special train or special coaches, uh, the charges are collected but because they are maintained at a depot station. You will be requiring them elsewhere. Hence, all these haulage charges are collected for shifting the uh, where, uh, rolling stock from one place to another place. So, where do these earnings are collected? So, these are the earnings collected at the Good sets now we call them as terminals at the siding. Again, sidings can be different. There is private siding, public siding, high shed siding, boat siding, railway siding is there. So there are different types of sidings are there. Port means uh, uh, sea ports, test bottom port or uh, coaching port or up there. Wherever port is located, sea ports. So their sidings are uh, provided. So where traffic, inward traffic is our uh, outward traffic is being dealt. Then we have got the container terminals. So container, they will also be paying the, utilizing the railways uh, track and also the wagon set times. So for them, they need to pay the charges to the railways. Private for right terminals. These days, the setting up a siding is a huge cost base and also setting up a station en route also is very, cost is very huge. That's why Railways is encouraging many freight operators coming between and to start the terminals and to do the business on behalf of the 
So they will be rendering the services to the various parties and licensing it to the railways. They are only operators. Here, as an accounts man, you need to know how the charges are collected, whether it can be cash or it can be PD, checks, or uh, book adjustment, it can be anything. So we need to know cash transactions these days. The government policy is that to be discarded to the maximum extent because uh, in goods traffic particularly, the traffic, the flight uh, collected to be collected mostly ranges around 1 crore rupees and this cannot be collected in cash. Moreover, the goods sheets are located at all places where there is no protection at all. That's why it was made compulsorily to uh, resort to the repayment of freight charges or the BD board wherever it is not possible and there is no cash dealing at all. Only for small, uh, smaller amounts of the WD area for the war fee charges where the amounts are smaller, where banks are not working, the, these limits were they have set and the, within this only cash can be accepted beyond the under no circumstances cash should be accepted. So this can be through the DDs. So whatever the DDs are collected to be deposited in the nominated banks at the stations where good sheds are located. And also the check system department public check was only under no circumstances. There were a lot of frauds that had happened earlier. Private checks should not be entered in cars. So checks we can accept provided it is from the government departments or the public sectors, that is the VFCI or the Canterbury Corporation or any other public sector or the government or the, or the, or the, or the, or the state governments also. So checks can be accepted. Private checks under no circumstances should be accepted. This you have to keep in mind very, very easy. We have got credit card system also, RMC is there, military is there, credit card sticking, and e payment of freight charges is there. This is for the payment of the goods traffic mode. So this is the large scale, almost uh, half of our, uh, more than half of our earnings we are getting through the e-payment mode. So directly, uh, they are attached to the uh, file system. The charges are being collected through the e-payment system. Then we have got the book adjustments. That is the military, postal traffic, whatever are there. Watches are there, will be collected at the stations. Straight away, cash will not be collected at the stations. So uh, amount is collected uh, uh, through the various uh, vouchers or the credit notes. So they are acknowledged to the uh, credit, uh, credit remittance note and sent to the traffic account note section for further billing. So this is being done again audited in the traffic accounts office and being dealt. The traffic has done, they will be bring it up on the accounts office balance sheet and debit techniques are respective department. This will be adjusted through the RBI and ARCO. So, these days we have got the book adjustment with the military, postal, Ministry of Finance, DGS, and some debits are there. So, these are only the present day book adjustments are allowed. So, how the cash collected at the stations are accounted? Cash instruments, which are accounted in respect to cash books, as I told you, it need not be invariably cash. It can be through the various instruments, that is DDs, and also various vouchers, that is the credit note also, are accounted. So, available vouchers like military RMC, I told you, railway material consignment, railway material consignment taken on credit side of balance sheet through actual billing. So, uh, that will be expansions also that can be used. What is RMC? What is AOB also can be asked. So, the voucher is enclosed along with the rental note and sent to the so, returns are prepared out of this central uh, the station uh, staff who are there. They will prepare the respective returns and send it to the traffic accounts office. Genuineness of initial records are verified because traffic accounts is situated in the headquarters. The various stations are located in different regions or parallel places. We never do sitting at the headquarters. The staff never do the genuineness of the initial records maintained at the station. So, to bridge the gap between the uh, headquarters and the traffic accounts office and the field, that is the stations, we, we have a mechanism called the TIAs, that is Travelling Inspectors of Airport. So, they will go at every station and they will verify the initial records and they will certify the initial record they have maintained there. So, whatever returns we are getting in the traffic agent 
are only replica of the initial records maintained at the stations. So cash can be collected wherever nearest banks are there. Now SBH is not there, SBH is there. So wherever uh, nearest banks are there, their uh, nominated bank will be there. In that bank, they will be collecting, and they will be depositing. If, they, if at all there is no nominated bank, then only cash can be collected under, uh, under the cash bank system is there. And the, uh, they are deposited in the cash and the moved into the cash office. So DDs, wherever the DDs are collected, they are deposited in the local, local banks. So we've got the e-payment system, the invoice will be generated for that. That invoice will be enclosed to the cash and tax road, uh, uh, CR road and sent to the traffic account. So private bank, uh, sector banks are nominated uh, for carrying the government transactions. No further. Okay, now they, they did change in the last week. Now uh, private, private uh, companies also now allowed. So billable wages sent to the traffic accounts. Billable wages simply includes military, RMC, etc. So goods cash books are maintained for account of daily earnings. CR note is prepared. So this CR note includes all the cash details, DD details, uh, uh, daily earnings, whatever collected at the stations are being included in this. Separate CR note is prepared and sent to the traffic account service. So these are kept in the cash book and sealed. So this is how the earnings are collected at the various scattered stations and sent to the traffic accounts. This is the mechanism through which the cash and the vouchers, the deed is collected. One of the uh, challenges of the banks for remittance of the cash are being transported to the accounts of cash office rather. So then what the cash office do? So accounts uh, accrued at the stations. So they are being reflected. They are being brought onto the voucher note, CR note. Then they are being sent to the cash office. So here what they will do is the cash office. Will so a cash office will acknowledge for suppose 100 rupees sent. 100 rupees acknowledgement to be given by the cash office. So this way, this will form the credit to the balance sheet. So acknowledgement for the voucher is given by the traffic accounts office. So uh, whatever the acknowledgements are given, 30 days or 31 days acknowledgements are given, that forms the credit to the balance sheet. So cash office prepares daily cash section and submits to the, so accounts office also, headquarters book section should know what are all the earnings received in a particular day. So they receive the, the whatever the earnings are received are being reflected and sent to the headquarters through the section. Where the, the, the section that is generated, the credit scans are received. They are being received through the from the banks nominated local point branch. So credit scans are being received and uh, reconciled in the headquarters of the The debits and credits are reconciled. So then what is the role of the public accounts? So the role of the public accounts to balance sheet verification. Balance sheet verification, balance sheets are not received. Okay. No, please mute. Uh, whoever is speaking, please mute your role. If balance sheets are not received in time, approximate balance sheets are prepared. Every station, every balance sheet to be submitted. The periodicity of the balance sheet to be submitted is monthly. So monthly balance sheet to be submitted to the traffic accounts office, which is reflecting the total monthly earnings of a particular station of the other city will be reflected and sent to the traffic accounts. If balance sheet certain times, there is possibility for every stations are there, there may be possibility that balance sheets are not received. In such cases, approximate balance sheet is prepared and sent. So, basing on the previous month's earnings and the current month cash, the approximate balance sheet is prepared. There is such a, such a procedure. If any supporting wages not received, they are kept in the column item. So, accounts obviously will watch what are the wages that is not being received. 
So respect your travel check stations, conduct and check of vouchers, they will conduct. So WDR, the WDR means wagon demand requisition fee. You will be able to pay the competition. These are all the expansions you may get in the start of process. Wagon demand requisition fee, WDR, full form. Please note down. And also POPS. That is pay or come patient. Suppose say, an accident taking place. The cash is required and the accident is part immediately. So nearby stations, basing on the message received from the headquarters commercial branch, that is CDTC office, the earnings at a station will be withdrawn. Cash will be withdrawn and they spend for hiring of the trucks or hiring of the labor, whatever it is, to restore the line back. This amount is being given. So the amount cannot be just like taken from the cash earnings. There is such a procedure. One POPS, payout of the sheet, the book is there. That, through that, they will have to withdraw and send a copy to the traffic accounts of this. Token of taking the cash from the uh, station. So railway receipts are received and checked. Railway receipts are issued for generation of the invoice, for, uh, towards generation of the invoices and also Parcel drop. Demarage or returns are there, they are being checked. If any non collection strategy is there, rules are not being followed, they are being sent to the convey to the stations through the error sheet. So, what is station balance sheet? The station balance sheet is a personal account submitted by the station master on a monthly basis. Suppose station master is in charge of the for selling of the traffic. Suppose the tickets are there. He, they will be under his control and he will be selling the tickets that forms the debit. Suppose within this month, the station marshal sold 100 tickets. So 100 tickets, he will take out the debit. 100 tickets, each ticket per cab will be approximately. Some thousand rupees he has to take it on the account of the credit scheme. So uh, there are other, it is a personal led, uh, ledger being created by the station marshal for the total profit health in a month by him. That is the pro forma of the coaching balance sheet. So every month the opening and closing balance is, will be there. So as a part of the internal check, the balance sheet section should see that the opening balance is carried forward from the previous month closing balance. So under classified heads, the earnings are given. Now UTS is giving all the statements in the prescribed pro forma. Local passenger traffic will be there. This is booked within the railway. Local means within the railway. For example, South Central Railway. Or Northern Railway within the traffic, whatever is booked, passenger. So that is being reflected in the local passenger traffic. And the foreign passenger traffic, which is originating and terminating in the another railway. This we can say foreign traffic or passing traffic or through traffic, whatever it is. So which is crisscrossing the other railways. We call it as the foreign traffic. Then parcels also we have got the local paid, foreign paid, luggage, HCD, parking charges, sundry earnings. So generally. Earnings are classified by the station staff themselves under these prescribed heads. So, if you know, uh, the traffic is not there, if any uh, charges are there which are collected less due to error in class, error in rate, error in distance, or anything, so they are being reflected through the TIS also about to raise the debits at the stations. And also, we have got the mechanism of the error sheets. So, error sheets, the result of the internal check, any discrepancy. He is conveyed to the stations and also the commercial department through the mechanism of the error sheets. So in this error sheet, clear details will be there. What is the traffic book? What should be the distance? How much charges? How much it should be? What is the discrepancy? How much collected? How much it should be? What is the difference to be collected? So to, if any overcharges are there, they will be reported at the traffic will be reported at the reported at the level. So, uh, yeah, all the error sheets will be reflected here, taking debit, because we have to see once the account is uh, there on the debit side, you will see that they will be created through the credit mechanism. So, this can be a yeah, party can pay it or uh, clear it through the credit uh, note also. So, miscellaneous savings are there. So, you put it together, what are all the services rendered by the station master will be reflected on the Debit side. So, what are all the proceeds out of the uh, traffic service rendered and received by him in the form of cash, which is received from the cash office, will be reflected on the cash side 
and also if at all any earnings which is not reliable for example the receipt received same month it may not be clear cleared this may be cleared on the following month also or any short run terms for example 100 rupees collected they may be remitting 90 only for some or other reasons this 10 rupees will be reflected as outstanding so this way the balance sheet is tallied there is a separate yes, section sir. dealing yes, the yes. Yes. so yes. there is an important aspect do they have to see that all the vouchers reflected are being reflected on the debit side correctly the earnings are sent to the traffic accounts so this will be the basic basis for posting of the traffic book at the end of the month so this is as far as the coaching balance sheet comes so prs all brought under the coaching balance sheet only parcels and dividend kya kya dena kitna 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 thing kar diye right right register kar diye hai उसमें 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 मतलब फाइल फाइल चार ही है हां कर देंगे हां कर देंगे अरे म्यूट कीजिए अपने आप को भाई हां कर दे संस्कार लो सर आप म्यूट हो गए हो सर जी और आवाज नहीं आ रही है संजय सर म्यूट हो जाइए सर अनम्यूट जी एंड सरुख सर सर प्लीज अनम्यूट सर सर अनम्यूट जी एंड सरुख सर हाँ जी सर प्लीज प्लीज अनम्यूट अंजय सर प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी अंजय सर अंजय सर प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी प्लीज अनम्यूट अंजय सर प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी सर एक्सक्यूज मी सर अंजय सर एक्सक्यूज मी अंजय सर एक्सक्यूज मी अंजय सर एक्सक्यूज मी सर अनम्यूट जे एंड प्लीज ओके एच आर कॉन्डक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ दि चाप्टर लेवन एंड चाप्टर ट्वेल्व ऑफ दि ए टू देर बैलेंस शीट एंड अदर सपोर्टिंग वोचर्स रिटर्न दे आर बी रिसीव एंड दे आर सर्कुलेटेड टू द रेस्पेक्टिव sections where they will conduct the internal check main objective is to see that the earnings are collected correctly and accounted in time sir please repeat from last sir sir excuse me sir 
Please repeat last three slides. I don't listen anything. Hello. Sir, please repeat last three slides from last three slides. It's very disturbance. Sir, last three slides. Sir, there was no audio. Sir, please repeat last three slides. Three slides, sir. There was no audio. So, not, not audible. Audible. yes, sir. Hello. Okay, sir. Okay, please repeat. This. Okay, okay, right. right. So, main objective is to see that ethics are collected correctly and accounted in time, and to see that no fraud embezzlement oh. takes place. So, this is the main objective of the internal check. We have huge transactions to the extent of two lakh, nearly two lakh twenty thousand crores rupees is being collected yearly from the various stations on the Indian railways. All these two lakh twenty thousand crores rupees are being reflected through the balance sheets or the account service balance sheet sent to the traffic account service. Being checked, internal check is being conducted. The volume is very very high. So the entire amount collected to the extent of two 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 lakh twenty thousand crores rupees, the uh, internal check is being conducted in the traffic account service. So hundred percent check cannot be uh, done at times. So uh, checks are prescribed in percentages. So uh, uh, the required price, uh, percentages will be dealt by the staff. So internal check is distinct from the check conducted by CAG. In a way, the though the nature of work involved similar, CAG audit is different. They will be conducting. They will be conducting the at the stations as well as the work done in the internal sections of the traffic accounts also can be done by the CAG. Result of internal check leakage of revenue, if anything is there, under charges are there, are being reflected through the error sheets and conveyed to the stations. Fraud irregularities are there. There is every possibility as huge amount involved. Lacks of gross transactions are taking place. There is every possibility of leakage of revenue through the fraud ones, serious irregularities uh, 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 taking place at the various freighter fair originating points. So uh, this we always internal check uh, since whatever are there, they will have to keep in mind all these aspects of the fraud and serial uh, conduct an internal check in such a manner. They should not happen, or at least though if we don't know, at least we can minimize them to the maximum extent. So the gap between field officers and PAO is bridged by a mechanism. As I told you, traffic account stamps are not going to the field and they are not go, uh, going there and verifying the uh, records maintained at the stations, which is a regular task. It is not possible to maintain a, an associate finance at every major station. So the, to bridge this gap, we have got the mechanism of the traveling inspector of accounts. They will be going there regularly and certifying the initial records. Any mistake is detected. The same is being conveyed to the traffic account service. Where further check is being conducted, exhausted. Let us see the role of traffic accounts, inspection and station of study. The interest of PA is the interest of PA inspection is to check initial records maintained. Registrations which does not come under directly. Okay. Traffic accounts office will conduct. But what importance they have to give? What they have to should not give. The main importance is given for the checks, various checks that, that uh, doesn't come out of the purview of the uh, them. That is the TAA uh, is mainly will conduct the checks that doesn't come out of the purview of the traffic accounts office. For example, resale of tickets. Underway with the parcels. So these are all the various checks that the uh, avoidance of the debris of the mismanagement of the inventory. So these are all the various checks are there, various uh, frauds that are likely to be committed at the stations. But as far as record concerned, they will not be brought under the purview of the traffic account service. So such cases, wherever such instances are there, TAS will be concentrating on such instances where the frauds are taking place in the they, they, they basically the checks are conducted in such a way that the checks doesn't come out of the purview of the traffic accounts, but that can be dealt only by the TIS in the field. 
So let us see what are the various aspects that does come, come under the purview of the TAS. Resale of tickets is there, underpayment of persons, misdeclaration of goods, temporary misuse of cash, non collection of part by Japanese. So these are all the various aspects that doesn't come under the purview of the traffic accounts of this. Yes, are about to issue debit memos and the, uh, wherever they are inspecting, they can say they issue, they write a debit memo and give to them and see that it is enforced in the balance sheet. So they will be taking care of the various outstandings also being dealt for various reasons. They may be staff, may be transport, staff must have died. For various reasons, the outstandings will be lying there. They will have to coordinate and do it. So another important function of the traffic accounts is compilation of the earnings budget. So the budget to be compiled, uh, earnings budget to be compiled annually, coordinate with the executive offices. So uh, figures mostly, the accounts office rule is only compilation of the budget, the main data, basic and the statistical data, the inputs the, the, that is originating earnings and other details, studies, is being given by the executive officers, that is the CCM office and COM office. They will uh, provide the data, accounts office in term, convert them, the uh, physical targets of uh, whatever is given into the uh, financial data and they compile the uh, earnings data on annual basis. And they will also, there is a separate section dealing the budget reviews in the traffic accounts office. So they will be reviewing, they will be assessing the traffic because the actual targets given by the commercial or uh, COM office, because they are near to the field, they know what are the tier industries are coming, what are the new lines that is coming up. So they will have an idea of the, what are the annual rates that is coming. So they will have an idea what are the various aspects that is to be taken, and they will estimate the likely ending in the ensuing year. And also at the uh, revised estimate time, they will uh, estimate basing on the Then ultimately, the culmination is that the posting of the traffic book. The earnings, whatever originated at the stations, reflected under the balance sheet and received in the traffic accounts office, are being segregated, coaching and goods wise. Then they are being brought into the books under the classified heads, and the entire uh, earnings are classified under the traffic book uh, concept. So details of all station balance sheets received separately for coaching and goods are being fed in the traffic accounts office segregated. Then the accounts are being again in the traffic book will have the four parts, part A, B, C, D are there. So part A is generated based on the originating earnings that is reflected through the balance sheet. So those figures transcribed to part A of traffic book so the uh, from the balance sheets, whatever the earnings are received, are being transcribed to the party of the traffic book. Then these are the originating earnings of the railway for which the, the, some some uh, every earning did not be uh, originating at the station. Some can be directly debited, and the some vouchers can be debited and uh, 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 they will received in the traffic accounts office, which are not being reflected on the station bell. They are, the, they are reflected on the accounts office bell. So these earnings we have also brought into the account. Then part B is generated. Part B uh, will form the uh, apportionment of the earnings. So placing on the part A and part B, the, uh, part, a, the uh, part B earnings are being dead. Part A is only station earnings received. Part B uh, the earnings are divided, the home railway, foreign railway wise, the debits are exchanged. So, posting our traffic book, how it is being done in the traffic accounts. So, still, IPAS is not integrated with the FIS and other the coaching applications. So, uh, uh, FS is still in use. Whatever the balance sheets received, the online balance sheets project is also there, but somehow it could not be materialized. The balance sheets, whatever are received, on the various stations are being fed in the FS under the coaching and goods separately. So the summary of the balance sheets 
will be taken on the uh, as a party of the one. That this is basically of the arginitic happenings. As I told you, arginitic happenings are different from the apportioned happenings. Arginitic happenings means these are the happenings collected by a local railway before being apportioned. So they are mainly set to see the arginitic railway's performance. So apportioned means uh, subsequently after uh, getting into these earnings, these earnings are apportioned based on the language amongst the railways. So there is difference between the arginitic earnings and the apportioned earnings. For uh, earnings budget, the basis is the arginitic earnings. These are the arginitic earnings of railway for a, a, which earnings are under AOG is added in policy of the traffic book. So what we deal with the apportionment of the earnings that results are exchanged among general values. General values. So part A is the balance sheet or earnings, whatever are there. Part B is the abortion earnings. Then part A and part B is transferred to the parts. So then, uh, uh, the, let us see what, how is the apportionment of the pricing earnings is done. So these are the general charges generated at the rate of 5% and the remaining amounts are apportioned. So originating railway will be paid 5% and the balance amount will be uh, uh, apportioned on the distance basis. Only originating railway will receive the terminal charges, only one end. So apportionment is done on the actual distance, train-wise and based on the route in which the train travel. So the travel to the route basis, the earnings are apportioned. This is how the passenger earnings are apportioned. So to the parcel earning, this is not being done comprehensively. The 10 day average, whatever is there, is being done. The balance amount, whatever is there, is being apportioned. Basing on the by reporting this data for the remaining two periods. So it means, the parcel received whatever are received, the only in a, uh, one period that is preferably 11th to 10th, year 20th is taken. The average of these figures on railway wise is being interpolated, multiplied and interpolated for the remaining period that is month wise. So, to regard the uh, apportionment of goods. So, interested to Chris, now Chris is doing it, it was right. So, apportionment is a very huge exercise, it has thousands of breaks are being moved uh, amongst the railways. So, there are certain uh, standard uh, procedures according to which table cars and table cars are directed before apportionment. Apportionment is made in proportion to the language decisions. So, generally, shortest routes, unless racialized, are is being taken take out. So, terminal cost at the rate of 624 rupees is being deducted first. Then, terminal cost at the rate of 26 rupees per ton for both originating and destination railway is being given. So, this way the goods apportionment is being done. These days, we have got the private railways also. Private railways also involved due to the financial crunch and all Indian railways is not able to uh, establish the lines. New lines they are not able to create. There is huge investment cost involved. Private railways are encouraged so that they will invest and reap the benefits. They will get back their amount in their prescribed manner. That is in within 30 years span time. They will be getting their earnings through the apportionment and they will be leaving the project to the railways. This is the basic concept of the private railways. So in South Central Railway, we have got Krishna Patnam. In Western Railway, we have got Pepo, Kach Railways are there. In HMRD, Assam Bangalore, Rail Development are there. In South West, it is there. So these are all the private railways. Actually, Indian railways should set up these lines. But due to financial crunch, we are encouraging the mostly port based railways. These are all. We are encouraging them to construct their own lines and to move the craft. So, opportunity is given to them once they get back their amount, uh, which is the, under the DCF technique interest rate that is 14 or 10 percent, 10 percent now. So, once they get back their amount, the initial investment, they will leave the railways and hand over, uh, they are uh, handing over to the 
prime minister they will leave so respect to prime minister is doing the uh, these three uh, three is not doing for this respect to jawar railways are doing a portionment for this so the out of the fair what of right whatever is collected the required charges are eliminated and the remaining amount is proportion to them basing on the traffic offered by the private railways so to we will have the uh, traffic suspends every rupee earned whatever we are earning that is on the accrual basis need not be realized for some or other reasons there are various 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 reasons due to the multitude of the transactions so uh, on the accrual basis we are taking all the uh, whatever amount is accrued the balance sheet we are taking on the debit side whatever realized we are uh, we are remitting and re reflecting under the credit side of the balance sheet so difference whatever is there is being reflected as the profit suspense for example session master collected 100 rupees for some or other reason he has remitted only 90 rupees the balance sheet will not tell because the accrued amount is 100 rupees he has balance sheets we are preparing on the accrual basis the amount remitted cash office will acknowledge only 90 rupees and not 100 so the difference would to the tally the basis of difference so we need to maintain a suspense balance that is called the profit suspense so means basically the earnings accrued in a particular month are not being realized for a uh in the same period so for railways the accounting period is though balance sheets are prepared monthly basis this is on the annual basis so yearly so by the end of the year it has to be cleared by the end of the march if it is not cleared within the time that will be reflected as a profit suspense but for accrual basis we are taking as if the earnings are accrued we are taking it into the debit side for all purposes this is being reflected as the earnings received to the railway so this is the basic concept of the profit suspense whatever the accrued earnings are being reflected as if they are received and shown as the earnings received during the particular year so the suspense means that is unrealized earnings of the railway so out of the total accrued earnings we are under ideal conditions we need to receive all the accrued earnings for some or other reasons we are not getting them so such earnings which we could not realize in the accounting period that is a years time will be reflecting as the profit suspense on the closing balance of the traffic account suspense it is there again once it is clear whatever is clear cleared some are accrued so again this will be brought to the next year so what are all the main uh, heads under the suspense we have got the station outstanding we have got the account balance balance sheet we have got the cash in trans we have got the dividends recoverable station outstanding you will see in station accounts the amount whatever is realized whatever is accrued is not realized so this can be further divided into two that is the admitted debits and the disputed debits admitted debits are the debits these are conforming to the rules and which were acknowledged by the commercial department and also the station staff then these are all the if at all the uh, station uh, Sir. 
Right. Okay. Sir, if you have done with the class, if any doubts, you can. Shall we ask for the doubts, sir, on the participants? Anjay, sir, can you hear me, ah. sir? Yes, yes, yeah, audible. If, if the uh, candidates are uh, participants are having any doubts, shall we ask them to raise the doubts? Hello. If the participants have any doubts, shall we? Shall I ask them to raise the doubts? Any clarifications from participants, sir? Okay, uh, participants, if you have any doubts, please. You can uh, raise your hand or you can ask directly. I've unmuted you all. You're, you're, you're unmuted now. If you have any doubts, you can please ask, sir. If you have any doubts, then ask. Then we'll wind up the session. Any doubts, please? So shall we wind up the class, sir? Anjay, sir? Anjay, sir? Okay, if there are no further doubt, any doubts, then we'll wind up the session. On behalf of Firifam Chikindarabad, I thank Sri Anjay sir, Senior AFA, RE, South Central Railway for taking the session on traffic accounts. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. The second session starts at 11.45. Please go for a tea break and come back. Log in by 11.45. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all.